Hello, my name is Stanford Gibson. I'm the sediment transport specialist at the Hydrologic Engineering Center. And a few years ago, in kind of the late 2000s, I did a series of flume experiments with David Abraham and Ronnie Heath from the Coastal and Hydraulic Labs at Erdic. We published the results of those in a series of three papers. Two of them are here, a 2009 sedimentology publication and a 2010 journal of geotech publication. I'm going to do a series that kind of summarizes the results of those papers, but my intention here with this video is just to provide some of the raw footage. Um, what you're going to see are three videos of, of sand infiltration into a gravel substrate. We're looking at a flume that's about 70 feet or 20 meters long, and we're going to be looking at the phenomena through a window that's about 50 feet or about 15 meters downstream of the source. What you're going to see are three videos. One is kind of the coarsest sediment and it's going to form a bridge layer and it's not going to infiltrate very much. The second one is one of the finest sands and it's going to fully percolate into the gravel and fill it from the bottom up. And then the third video will be something in between it in, in what one of the papers calls the intermediate zone. So that's the raw footage. One of the things the paper does is it goes in and looks at the threshold from the perspective of a geotechnical filter criteria to look at what are the different gradational thresholds that lead to these three processes. But I'll get into the details of the findings in a future video.